Hey guys, it's Vishali here. So today's vlog is about Antonio Conte and the fact that he has now left Chelsea. Um, it's paved the way for Maurizio Sarri to be Chelsea's new manager and it's ushering in a new era uh, for Chelsea fans again. You know, they're having to say goodbye to a manager and say hello to another manager. Now, um, I just want to talk about um, what's kind of going on with, with Conte and what's happened. Um, essentially, he said his goodbyes to everyone at uh, Cobham on Thursday. Um, it was a bit of a weird week because the players returned to, for pre-season training, the players who obviously weren't involved in the World Cup. And um, like, I think those players probably expected Conte not to be their manager. But because the deal for Sari wasn't completed in time, Conte actually did return to Cobham, did take training, and um, now he's off. So it was been a bit of a weird week, I guess, for the players who had to kind of say hi to him again after not seeing him for, for a couple of weeks. And then um, now they're having to think about probably a new manager. Um, so it has been a bit of a weird week, but essentially it's uh, Conte's two-year spell at Chelsea um, has now come to an end. I think it's been a successful two-year spell for, for Conte. Um, remember, in his first season in charge, his first season in English football, he led Chelsea to the Premier League title with a, a record-breaking uh, win, a number of wins in a 38-game season. So that was the record then. Obviously, Man City have now broken that, but he got that record. Um, I think it was 30 wins in a 38-game season. Um, he led them to the FA Cup final, which they lost. That was a big disappointment for them not to do double. They lost that final to Arsenal. And then the second season, um, it was a disappointment, I think you have to say. Um, I remember the summer when they had just won the Premier League title, Conte was already airing his frustrations about the fact that essentially he wanted to really build on the success from that first season. He knew that given their Premier League title success, Chelsea could attract some big name players. It's just that they had to lay down huge sums of money to get those players. And he felt that Chelsea didn't necessarily do that. Now, in fairness to Chelsea, they did get a lot of his targets. But it's, the problem was that some of those targets didn't deliver as quickly as you would have hoped. Bakayoko is a prime example. Morata had a good start, but then that, you know, his form tailed off and there were so many issues. And if you think about how good Costa had been for Chelsea for two seasons, you know you have to make that obvious comparison and that was a huge loss for Chelsea at the time and they needed goals they couldn't get goals from Morata around sort of Christmas time and sort of afterwards um, so they ended that season in fifth place and that was undoubtedly a huge um, disappointment for the team because they're not in the Champions League now next season but the good thing for Chelsea was that at least they got a trophy at least they salvaged something from the season they won the FA Cup um, I was there to see see all of that sort of two-year spell for Chelsea because I, I've covered Chelsea for three years. Um, and I think the overall feeling for Conte was that he couldn't really create that long-term project he, uh, at Chelsea, especially when you look at some managers like Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola. They have been able to be kind of given the funds to create something longer term. For Conte, that wasn't the case. And you could tell that he wasn't really... Um, that happy with that aspect um, and there was also the issue about his relationship with some players um, I know that there was a, sometimes a feeling from some players that he didn't really um, see the, the human aspect of them um, you know with, with sometimes intensity of the training and and the way he kind of managed their personalities and, and them at certain times so his relationship with some of the key players had soured um, but I have to praise him because for me personally, being a journalist um, covering Chelsea, he was fantastic with us journalists. He was always so respectful. So from the other point of view, from the media point of view, um, I really enjoyed covering Chelsea for the last two years because he was so good with us journalists. I mean, I'll tell you a, a good story. He took us out, um, the journalists, for Christmas drinks last year. And um, I can't tell you what he said in, in that sort of couple of hours that we were in a pub in, in Cobham. But it was a lovely couple of hours in which he, he opened up, you know, he's telling us stories about his time as a player, his time as a manager, um, and, you know, over at beers and, and, and sort of, you know, drinks. And it was, it was a really lovely afternoon. And it was those kind of small things that he did that um, just made us 
journalists who cover the club regularly feel a bit more connected to him, as connected as he can be to a manager who clearly wants to still have a barrier because he doesn't want to reveal everything and he's not that kind of manager. He's said that quite a few times that he's not the kind of manager who um, has close relationships to, to journalists and then reveals everything. But it was a small thing that he did there um, when they won the Premier League title, you know, giving us all champagne. Small things like that kind of helped us connect to him more as a man and I think everyone who kind of knows him as a man they do really like him he's respectful he's, he's a great he's a funny guy as well but I think in the end what really kind of called it well kind of called an end to his time at Chelsea was his relationship with the board and his relationship with the players you know in the professional sense um, so yeah Conte I don't know what where he'll go now um, what he, the future holds for him I do wish him good luck uh, with everything but I think for Chelsea fans now it's time to say hello to Maurizio Sarri it looks like he'll be bringing one or two players with him from Napoli um, he is certainly a character I am looking forward to seeing how he does in English football what kind of character he'll be on and off the pitch um, you know I'm sure I'll be I'll be doing a lot more vlogs from Chelsea next season um, but I do hope you've enjoyed this vlog just kind of looking back at, at Conte's time I really enjoy covering the, Chelsea for the two years that he was there and um, you know I hope that Chelsea fans um, I think I think Chelsea fans will have a, a, an overall good impression of him um, from his time at Stamford Bridge.